I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Map Institute. Let me share with you a question posted by one of our subscribers on the YouTube channel. I hope its solution will help many students. This is an excellent question which is based on coordinate geometry. I will say extended coordinate geometry. The question is, find the equation of circle inscribed in a triangle whose sides are the lines L1 x plus y equals to 8, L2 2x plus y equals to 22, L3 3x plus y equals to 22. So, three lines are given to us and definitely they will intersect and form a triangle. We need to find equation of circle inscribed in this particular triangle. So, let me thank our subscriber for posting this brilliant question. And what I am going to do here is provide you a strategy to solve such problems. Like always, this summer also, we are offering many courses for students to register and get ready for September. Send an email on the address given and achieve success. Now, let us see the solution of the question. Well, we are given three lines and two of them very clearly indicate that they have the same y-intercept. So, let me just uh, sketch these lines here. Line L2 is 2x plus y equals to 22 and L3 is 2x plus y, 3x plus y, so greater slope. So, that means if you rearrange the slopes will be negative, right? So, you can say that one of the lines is kind of like this. Oh, let me just uh, redraw this. Okay. The other line also passing through the same point, which is 22, will have a slope which is different, right? So, let me rearrange the lines. So, we have the equation x plus y equals to 8, which I can write y equals to minus x plus 8. And the other two lines, we are writing y equals to minus 2x plus 22. And then we have y equals to minus 3x plus 22. This point here is 22 for sure. And this line is our line L3. And that is, the other line is L2. Then we do have a line, minus x plus 8. So, that means at 8, it is going to, let's say this is the line, which is line L1. Using these three lines, we can find their points of intersections. Let's say the points of intersections are A, B, and C. So, that will give us the triangle ABC. So, once we have the triangle ABC, we can find the side lengths. Lowercase a, side opposite to vertex A, B, and C. So, we can now find what is A, B, and C, the side lengths are. Now, once we have the vertices and the side lengths, we need to find the in center so that we could have a circle inscribed. So, let us say these points are HK, the center points. Then the equation will be x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square equals to r square. 
So, that will be the equation of the circle. Is this concept clear to you? Perfect. So, that is the outline of this particular program. So, I like to I like you to go through this question, answer and then look into my suggestions. Meanwhile, let me share with you that we are soon going to run group classes in which we are going to have eight lessons every Tuesdays and Thursdays in the month of August. You can understand many concepts related to solving such questions. We will review lines, linear systems, substitution method, elimination method, midpoint and length of line segments, equation of circle, shortest distance and medians and centroids. So, this question is the one which has all the components. We need to find the points of intersection which you can easily by using the systems of equations and then you can find the equation of circle by finding the center and the radius. You get the idea. So, the course can help you and this will be a thinking question in that particular course. So, as you can see here, let us get back to the strategy. The question was to find the equation of circle inscribed in the triangle whose sides are the lines L1, L2 and L3. So, step 1 is find the intersection of lines provided, provide vertices of the triangle ABC, right? That is our step number 1. Step number 2 is find the length ABC. Now, once you find the vertices and the lengths, in that case, you can actually find the in center. Now, the formula for in center is known to very few students, right? Not given in book. We'll soon share with you the formula. It is not given in many books. And therefore, it is very important to know and understand. Let me describe it. In center is the weighted average of the coordinates of the vertices. So, we have to find the weighted average from the vertices to get the in center. And then the second formula is about the radius r of circle. Now, this formula is given in many books, but not in all. Very important formula you can make note of that from the Heron's formula you can derive it. Okay, So, the square root of s minus a times s minus b times s minus c over s where S is semi perimeter A plus B plus C over 2. Well, this is from Heron's form. Which is given to you right there. Once you find that, you can find the equation of circle as we discussed. So, I hope this strategy is absolutely clear. And so, now you can Pause the video and answer this particular question. Now, finding length is not difficult at all. You can solve these equations and find the vertices. So, so what we did here is that we have the three equations. We can very easily solve them. We know from L1, which is x plus y equals to 8. And we know L2 is 2x plus y equals to 22. So, if I do L2 minus L1, right, then what do you get? You get x equals to 22 minus 8. And that gives you x is equal to 14. So, you can plug in x equals to 14 and find what y is, right? So, so you can say y equals to 8 minus 14, which is 
minus 6 square. So, one of the vertices we have just found finding the intersection of lines L1 and L2. So, let me get back to our uh, equations. So, L1 and L2 will intersect there and this point we just find is what? Uh, I think it was 14 and minus 6, right? So, we got one point C. So, let me write down here we have point C which we found as 14 and minus 6. Well, as far as uh, L2 and L3 are concerned, we know that point A is 0, 22, right? Because the y intercept is common. And uh, now we will find the let me write down in our drawing a is 0 22 we already have this point and point b is intersection of l3 with l1 so l3 is 3x plus y equals to 22 l1 is x plus y equals to 8 and if you take away you get 2x equals to 22 minus 8, so we are just taking away, we get 14 and x equals to 7, right? Substituting 7 here, we get y equals to 8 minus 7, which is 1, and therefore, the point B can be written as 7, 1, right? So, we got our triangle. Let me just uh, sketch the triangle. So, this is not the exact diagram, however, the triangle looks something like this. We'll just sketch roughly point A being 0, 0,22, B being 7, 1, or let me make it as it was. Uh, let me redraw it, right, as uh, the coordinate points we just uh, understood. Okay. Kind of like this. So, point A being 0, 0,22. Point B being 7, 1 and C being 14 minus 6. So, you got these three points. Knowing these three points, you can find the length of each side, right? So, I have summarized here. We have the points. Using the points, we have the distance formula. You know distance formula D the square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. Using this formula, we can find the sides a, b, and c. I will prefer you to write some exact values. If not, you can write the decimal values. So, you get this part, which is a step number 2, finding sides of each side lengths of the triangle. Once you have the side lengths, you can also find semi-perimeter, the value of S, which will be used in the Heron's formula. So, you can find this by adding all these side lengths, dividing by 2, semi-perimeter, right? S is semi-perimeter. Now, once you know S, you can actually find the center, which is the in center, and you can also find the equation of the line, right? So, we know S, you can use this particular formula to find the radius after you calculate S, right? So, we know the radius part. So, that will become, right? And the last part is figuring out the in center, which is kind of major issue mainly because this formula is not discussed in many places. You can make a note of this particular formula. How do we find the weighted average of the coordinates of the vertices to get the in-center? So, let's say HK. So, that's the formula. A times XA plus B times XB plus C times XC divided by A plus B plus C. So, that is the weighted average value of X. 
Similarly, find the weighted average value of y. Now, once you know h and k, then plug in the values and get the equation of the circle. I hope you get the, the idea. Perfect. So, with that, we solve this particular question. However, I would like you to register for my course if you really want to learn from me. And those who have learned, they perform excellent. So anyway, also submit your solutions for the given question. I hope the strategy which we discuss is absolutely clear to you. Feel free to write your comments. You can always share your suggestions on my channel or sending an email on the address given. Also visit our website for more information. Thanks for your time and all the best. We regularly register students for our courses. This summer, we have a very special program. You can send an email on the address highlighted and join the program of your interest. That will help you to perform much, much better in the coming semester. Register by sending the email as the seats are limited. Join Anil Kumar classes and get ready for a bright future. Thank you.